Question B. Once again, let's start out with what we know. So one of the first things is I know these two angles are congruent. So angle D B C is congruent to angle A C B. So again, if the information is written on the paper, that means it's given. I'm gonna start with my next piece of given information. Uh, there's two tick marks on each of these lines, so those must also be congruent. So DB is congruent to AC. That's given. And let's not forget the two column proof. So first one, angle DBC is congruent to angle ACB. And my reason for that was given. And statement number two, DB is congruent to AC. It's get also given. And so we need a third thing here to prove that the two triangles are congruent. Um, so we either need to know these angles, and then we'll have um, angle side angle, or maybe we need to know these angles, but I don't know those either. So then maybe I have a side, an angle, and a side, and that is what I need. So I know that BC is congruent to BC, and that is going to be anytime something is congruent to itself, it's reflexive. So my third step in my two column proof is BC is congruent to BC. So then my fourth step can be that the two triangles are congruent. So triangle DBC is congruent to what triangle? ACB. And that's going to be side angle side. And once again, let's match up our steps here. So the first, the way I did this was yellow, green, blue, and triangle D, B, C. So yellow is step two. The green angle was step one. And the blue side was step three. So two, one, and three. All right, on question C, I'm going to challenge you guys to not do the flowchart proof. Let's just see if we can do the two column proof. So question statement number one, once again, we're going to start out with our givens. So let's start with, I see that these two angles are congruent. So angle E, A, B is congruent to angle EBA. Uh, that's given, since it's drawn there. Um, any other givens? Yes, we've got this angle is congruent to this angle. So angle C is congruent to angle D. That's gonna be given. There's one other piece of information I know. I know AB is congruent to AB. And if it's congruent to itself, it's reflexive. And once again, if you are having troubles finding and seeing that um, anything above the givens, then know we're trying to find ways to prove this triangle congruent. Okay? So if I have two angles, then I neither then I either need a side, or I need a side somewhere in order for it to be congruent. Because there's no such thing as angle, angle, angle. So there needs to be a side. 
and I have no information that AC is congruent to DB, so that's not going to help me. I've got no information that BC is congruent to DA. There's nothing I know that will prove those congruent, so then my last thing is that AB is congruent to AB, and that I do know how to prove. So I know that has to be the third step of my proof. And the fourth step. So let's do triangle ABC is congruent to triangle. Um, notice I did green, I did, I'm sorry, green, blue, purple. So we're going to do green, blue, purple over here. So green, blue, purple. Triangle BAD. And that is going to be angle, angle, side. Once again, if it was angle, side, angle, then the line that was congruent has to be in between the two angles, and it's not. So it has to be angle, angle, then the side. Um, so let's start with my first angle, which is the purple one, which would be number two, step two. The next angle is the green one, that's step one. And then the last one is that reflexive property side, which is step three. Two, one, and three. And lastly, question letter D. Um, I'm gonna completely let you do this one. I'm not gonna have the answer in the video, um, but I do want you to see if you can set this one up correctly. Um, please raise your hand, let me know when you have it, and I'm just gonna check your proof and I will check it off for you. So make sure you get it checked off from me before you leave today. And then you're done, and you can start your homework if you want, or watch any past videos.